Laat me niet Jan Paulo is een neuroloog met een speciale belangstelling in meervoudige sclerose en hij is ook die schrijver van die richtlijne voor behandeling van mensen met MS. Hij is vanavond hier bij ons net leer of ons meer oor hierdie toestand te vertel. Dokter Baie, dankie en welkom dat jy, dat ons is blij dat jy vanavond dit kon maak by ons. Um, wat is die oorzake van MS? Um, ik ga in Engels praten, want ik vind het niet zo goed. Nee. Oh, is niet van. So, we don't actually know the cause of MS. It's part of the gambit of autoimmune disorders where your own immune system attacks yourself. In this case, the lining of the myelin around the nerve sheets in the brain. And uh, we don't know what triggers off autoimmune diseases. Um, so, an exact cause we don't know. Is there any sense of genetic component? Um, a kind of genetic component. Um, there's a certain, if I wanted to give you an organ, we measure our tissue types and see if, you are, if we are adequate match. Um, so there are certain tissue types that make in families um, siblings more predisposed to, to MS. But there's no specific, if your mother or your father's got it, you're going to get it. And is there a specific trigger that it verursaakt? And what are the older So the, the average is around the 20s to, to early 30s. Um, we know that if you smoke as a teenager, if you get Epstein-Barr virus, which gives you glandular fever or clear course, that 100% of the patients will test positive for, for that. And if you're obese, it tends to be a predisposition to developing MS. But there's no specific cause. So as a prevention of don't smoke as a teenager, keep your weight under control. They're working on vaccinations for um, Epstein-Barr virus or clear course, and that might change the outcomes. Hoeveel mense lei min of meer aan in Zuid-Afrika en in wereldwijd? Ik in Zuid-Afrika nie, want dit tast meer die wit mense aan as soort mense. But around the world it's about 2 to 3 per 100,000. En weet ons hoekom dit meer gelijk is om dan wit mense aan te tast as soort mense? So soort mense, um, Chinese, don't get MS as much as um, Caucasian white European people. Wat is die symptome van MS? Um, could, can affect the brain anyway, so you can have multiple neurological presentations, but most common is a blurring of the eye because it affects the optic nerve, or patchy sensory losses over the body, or weakness in a limb, or sudden weakness in your lower limbs and bladder control, but um, involving the eye and uh, decrease in vision in the eye is probably one of the most common. So if you say, I feel good, 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 uh, and betekent is MS geneig, miskien om net nie lekker te sien nie. Uh, is daar spesifieke toetsen wat kan doen, want wanneer gaan jy nou weet, hierdie is MS, of jy moet bekommerd wees, en wanneer is dit nou maar net I think if your symptoms are present for over a week, go to your GP, and if your GP does want to refer you on to a neurologist, go to a neurologist yourself, and let them do a scan, uh, MRI scan, and sometimes they would have to do a lumbar puncture, and it's easy to make a diagnosis or exclude it, so, I think if symptoms of neurological deficit last for longer than a week, go and see a doctor. And the treatment is very different over the years. How do you think about it? And how do you think about it? Because as you now get diagnosed and you begin with your treatment, then you have amper any symptoms. So, when I started, I'm not that old. There was one medicine available. Now there's over 16. And uh, they also press your immune system, and some are stronger than others, and therefore the doctor will decide what's appropriate for you at the time. But we can almost guarantee if patients get diagnosed earlier, we start them on medication, a normal life. So, you know. So, so many other symptoms? There's still some tumor cray, and you can also get some alpha cray, but my own. Is there any other behandlings that people can can follow, behalve now on medication? Of any other ways where you can see your sick a bit and then also maybe better can General, The general mental health features that we say, keep your weight under control, um, don't consume too much sugar, um, exercise is important, but there's no other specific way or natural homeopathic ways that you can use to prevent you from getting MS or help in your MS. Uh, vitamin D supplementation, very important because a lot of the patients are vitamin D deficient. And uh, yeah, just a generally, generally healthy lifestyle that we propose for most people. And what is the cycle um, specific to me today? The cycle causes a, um, too much sugar causes obesity and being overweight. And as we can see with COVID, people who are overweight are always in a pro inflammatory phase, so they have worse outcomes. And when you've got an autoimmune disease where your own immune system is attacking you, you don't want to be in a pro inflammatory state that aggravates that immune. 
Maar je kan in die ziekte omkeren. You can go into remission. So you might not cure it, but you can go into remission and lead a pretty normal life, providing you take your medicine. Nou, Christel klink baie bij moeder en sy het dit lijkt soos hy dit baie goed aan die thema. Hoe leef een mens met iets soos MS saam? Want ek meen, uiteraard is daar sêker soekundige faktore um, of depressie wat kan, kan plaas vind. Um, so, I think, because there's no cure and there still will be a little bit of degeneration in the brain, a person's ability to multitask might become affected, a person's ability to concentrate might become affected and therefore their management of their job has to be appropriately changed in order to accommodate what they can do properly. Um, if they've got physical abnormalities, then obviously that also hinders them in their day-to-day -day function. But most people, you know, a large percentage, I don't want people to be scared, a large percentage of people have a pretty normal life and do their job and get about and etc. So things have changed a hell of a lot and get an early diagnosis, go into treatment and more than likely we're going to help you. En is dat iets wat in ons algemeen meer algemeen sien deestal, of raak het eigenlijk minder? Neem het toe. Um, meer. But I think also the pick-up is much better. Okay. You know, in, in the old days we didn't have an MRI scan, um, there was nothing really to treat patients, you didn't really tell a patient because you didn't want to get them upset. Now, when we get diagnosed early, um, access to MRIs is much, much easier. And so I think the diagnosis is made a lot easier and it might seem that there's more patients, but there does seem to be more females than, than we used to see before. And we can't tell you why. Dat is so 45 seconds. Is dat ondersteuningsgroepe vir mense wat gediagnoseer word en in familielede? There are MS societies. The one in Johannesburg is not as big as Nons one in Cape Town, but there are uh, MS societies. So I think in your region, just look up um, and in the society, you all speak to Non because she's quite well organized in Cape Town and she'll be able to tell you when you can be referred to in your province. Okay, so you know, anyone that for us, we are in the middle of the day, for us contact. Dr. Baye, thank you. This is a lot of fun with you. Thank you. Thank you. Dr. Dominique Giampalo. Ons is 